came here today to pay homage to a man I admire and respect. But on the way over, my wife convinced me it would be selfish for me to make this about me. So I'm going to talk about my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and I do want to say I am impressed with your efficiency in reaching such a milestone. You make 60 look good. You make it fashionable. I would go as far as to say 60 is the new 59 years, 364 days. <laughs> so today, we celebrate you. Pastor, husband, father, brother, mentor, friend, and delusional Miami Heat fan. <laughs> Amen. That version of King James was not a good read the other night. In fact, game one of the NBA Finals, LeBron James was more unreliable than your recollection of your heydays. <laughs> Speaking of recollections, I remember the times we would pile into the car and take our annual cross-country road trip. My brothers and I would sleep all day while my dad would drive. Then we would grab a hotel for the night and my dad would try to sleep and we would drive him crazy. <laughs> Bad planning on his part. <laughs> but we do appreciate all the new experiences and opportunities you afforded us. You sacrificed countless hours and resources to expand our world to ensure your sons will be well-rounded individuals. Now, you need to sacrifice a few meals so you can be less rounded. In all seriousness, I couldn't ask for a better blueprint as a young man trying to figure out life, and it is with great pride and responsibility that I carry the name Lee Jr. Happy birthday. Yeah.